Hi, I'm William T. Sherman. I'm going to share a little bit of my life with you. All right, Mr. Sherman, or William, if you want. William's fine. All right. <clears throat> um, when were you born? I was born 1820. That was a good year. My parents were both fine with each other, and I didn't really know about any wars were going on because I was just a baby, and life was pretty good right then. Huh, that's, that's, that's interesting. Okay, um, Mr. William, uh, that T in your middle name, uh, what does that stand for? Yes, that stands for Tecumseh. William Tecumseh Sherman. Okay, um, let's hear a little bit about your childhood. How were, how were you when you were a child? My childhood was not very good. I got bullied, like, a lot. Because hmm? Tecumseh is an Indian name, so... I got bullied for being an Indian a lot, and it was just really, really sad for me, and I was just always sad as a kid. Huh. That's interesting. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I had 22 other brothers and sisters. And oh, wow. A handful. Because my, my father died at an early age, and everybody went through a really tough time then, and all the older brothers and sisters, they had to take care of the younger ones, and... Because my mom, you know, who can take care of 22 children all yeah. by herself? Mm -hmm. I, I feel you, man. Okay, Mr. William. Um, so I heard you were in the Civil War, was it? Yes, the Civil War. I was part of the Union, the North side, the winning side. <laughs> you see, when I the Civil War started, I decided to join the Army. And I was always, I always wanted to be the best I could do. So I wanted to be a general, and that was my goal ever since I joined the army. Mm -hmm. And I was moved around a lot of places, like the West Point, West Point Fort. I moved around there, and then I finally I lost my first two battles, which did not help my general goal. Mm -hmm. But Lincoln really saw it in me that I had what it took to be a general, and uh -huh. he made me a general. And okay. I was one of the best generals the Union ever had, right behind Robert E. Lee. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Sherman, um, were you famous for one thing that you did during the Civil War? I was very famous for this oh, one thing. Very I famous. In the Civil War. Mm -hmm. I was the March to the Sea. I led all my troops after the Battle of Shiloh that I won all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, and oh. I burned everything in my past oh wow like i burned atlanta georgia and it was just burned down to the ground it was known as my victory lap as you could say huh. i was just so happy for winning the battle of shiloh were were there any any major chants that people used to used to yell while you were marching there yes well they were just awful and i once like i once told all my truth this i was like guys War is hell. War and is they hell. all just took that as a sign and they started chanting that every time we uh, marched somewhere. Every time. Okay. Um that's 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 a lot of stuff. Uh um I think we're we're going to uh, we're going to write that down and get back to you. Okay, Mr. William. Um were there any people that were very special in your life? Well, yes, there there was. Ellen Boyle. I married her when I got into the army. It was a, it was a good marriage. And then I just had to. I mean, in the army, we never got to see each other because I was always away, battling the southerners. And it was just she. She really got mad at me because she always wanted me home. I mean, I knew she loved me. Just she always wanted me home, and she never really, truly, accepted my position as a general. Hmm, okay. Okay, Mr. William, um, w tell us about your later years, and maybe if you died during the army, and how you died, and maybe if you resigned out of the army, uh, tell us about it. Well, I did resign out of the army. I did not die while in the army, and when I resigned, I loved the theater and arts. I loved Shakespeare. And I actually ran for president, but I hmm. did not make it, and I went for the Republican side. I said, I will not accept if nominated, and I will not serve if elected. Okay, okay. Um, well, how, how did you die completely? 
I actually just died of old age, which is pretty rare in that. Yeah. Pretty definitely. rare in that era because there was not a lot of medicine and like I didn't get a disease. I just died of old age in 1891 and all the flags were sailed half mast because I died. That's how oh, wow. important I was. Um what what city were you were you deceased in? I died in New York City. New York City, New York. Big okay. <laughs>